Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you my DIY screen printing screen exposure unit. Well, that's a mouthful. This ideal I got from somebody else. This is a filing cabinet, a metal filing cabinet. That's the bottom of it. You know, it had shelves. I took the shelves out and laid it down, and that's my exposure unit. This, uh, I got this ideal from somebody else on YouTube watching videos, but this is just my take on it. I'll find his video and I'll put a link in the description for, so he can get credit for it. But uh, it's got 1200 LED lights. That's why I came up with this name, Maker UV 1200. And then, of course, our channel. I got a Cricut machine, so I was playing around with it. But uh, yeah, it's 1200 LEDs, and I'm going to show you how I built it. It has a fan that sucks air through the, uh, or down here are my screens. I'm going to put my screens when they're coated in the dark box. And it has a van, fan that pulls air through to help dry them. This is a safety light that's inside there. Just a regular bug light, that's all that does. And then this turns on my UV lights, the power to them. Probably really didn't need a switch, but got it. And then this kills all power. And then you just push this button and the lights come on. And I've got to figure out my exposure times, but this, this is it. Uh, it should work like a charm. Uh, the only other thing I'm going to add that may not be in this video is I'm just going to add a small LED light somewhere just to show that it's plugged in and got power. But that's it. Should expose screens. This should hold 50-50 uh, pounds pretty easy. Don't need that much weight, but just in case. It's 3 8 inch plate glass. I got that cut locally. Uh, $55 for the glass. $25 for the cabinet. And then I have to see for the switches and all the miscellaneous parts uh, you know, probably another hundred dollars. I know the LED lights cost me quite a bit, uh, so they were probably twenty-four dollars for every three hundred lights or every sixteen foot. They're sixty-watt uh, UV lights. So, anyhow, I'm rambling on. Let's get on, and I'll show you some videos of the build. Hey guys, welcome back. Coming in the shop here. Uh, in this series of videos. I'm going to be setting up screen printing equipment. My screen exposure unit. It's a little big. Uh, you don't need one this big, but I got this cabinet off of Marketplace Dirt Cheap. It's a metal cabinet. Plus, uh, back in the day when I was doing screen printing all the time, I like to do, I have a, I have a one color uh, hinges and stuff. I used to do some signs, some one color signs and some other stuff. And I needed a, I had a bigger screen, so. Anyhow, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn this cabinet, I've already took the shells out, it's just a old metal cabinet. And I'm gonna turn this into a UV light box and set it on a base, and underneath that it's gonna be my drying rack for my screens. So, let me get going. That was a long introduction, darn. Okay, there's the frame it's built. So uh, now let me put the box on top of it. You're seeing it live with me. I still got to cover it up, but let's just make sure. Yeah, I didn't want it tall. I didn't want it too tall. Look at that. Once I put the plywood on it, it'll fill those gaps in. And that'll be my uh, screen storage for my coated screens. They're going to go underneath. And uh, so I don't know how much I'll get done today. I got to go to a birthday party for my grandson. He's turning four. But uh, so I'm going to put a bottom in it and then I'm going to box it in and I'm going to put some slides in there. I don't know if I'm going to put slides. I think what I'm going to do is. And I'm either going to 3D print me something, but I'm going to fix it where I put a screen in there and then have a spacer so it just goes on the top of it. And then I put another screen on top of it and keep them separated and leave them flat. And then the fan, there'll be a fan in there and a vent on one side. So, uh, all right, so next I'm going to finish boxing it in and finish the base. Then we'll work on the uh, this part. Okay, there's the box. It's built. Uh, I didn't film that. You can build your own box. I'm not a cabinet maker, so 
So anyhow, I got a new present for Christmas. I got a, a 3D printer my stepson bought me. So I uh, printed these knobs and uh, those latches. And I printed a vent cover I'll show you later. A vent cover to go over there. I think I'm going to paint the inside of this flat black. I got the paint. Then I've got some uh, odd blue color paint. I think I'll paint the box that color just to keep it from getting dirty. Yeah, there's going to be a fan on one side and a filter on one side. And that just helps draw air through there because the screens, that's where I'm going to put my screens to draw. And they fit in there. I can put them almost too wide. But uh, so after I coat them, I'll stick them in there. I'm going to seal it up where no light gets in. And that's where I'll dry my screens. And then I can take them out and put them on the light box. So that'll be the next step. I'm going to get this painted, get my hardware mounted, and uh, put the light, the cabinet. I'll start on this after I get this done. And we'll, uh, I'll show you what I'm doing with this. And now that I've got the basic cabinet stuff built, I'm working on... Um, my first attempt at designing and 3D printing, that's going to be my support for my board that my lights are going to be on. It'll make sense when I show you. Uh, I need to redesign There's a lot of wasted material. And then you come over here, and this is going to be my panel for the front of the unit. I'm going to cut a hoe out, so while that's burning, I'm going to go do the wiring for the uh, parts. So here's my layout. I'll post a picture maybe of this uh, diagram. So power's gonna come in here. This will be your main switch that cuts power onto everything. Then this will power up the timer. That's the ultraviolet. The, the yellow one that is gonna go to uh, the safety lights. I don't even know if I'm gonna install those, but I already cut out my circuit board. I mean my uh, power panel for that. I'll include them since I got it. And then this is for my fan. This is my fan controller. I've already got it installed. That's the fan for inside the dryer box where the screens are. So this is my layout. This is my timer. So you'll be able to push the timer. Once you get it in there, bam, your lights will come on. These are my LED lights, my UV lights. Uh, these are my connectors. Instead of soldering every strip, I can do that. But power in here, bam, 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 bam. Power these to this. So that's going to be my layout, and I'll put a picture of this. Uh, all you electricians don't make fun of my diagram, but it sort of helps me get it in my head. So I'm going to wire all this up. Uh, this is a tutorial on how to actually do it, but you know, you, you do what's best for you. But So this is how I'm doing mine, and I'll post that. Uh, I'll put that picture there maybe. But uh, let me get to uh, wiring all this up, and uh, we'll go from there. So my power panel's coming together slowly but surely. Uh, I had to sort of stop. Uh, one thing is I bought a plug. Where's my plug at? I gotta carry it back. I got the wrong kind. But anyhow, so gotta carry that back. Always something. So before I can go much further on my lights, I wanna sort of figure out where my height is gonna be. This is a piece of cardboard that packing that came with my new TV. So I saved it. So look there guys. Tell your wife it pays to save stuff. So now here I have a use for it. Just the LED light strips are gonna go on top of this. I'm gonna paint this flat black and uh, cut this out. That's gonna go in here. That'll be, and these are gonna be, I got a 3D printer so I'm 3D printing everything. And these are gonna be my stands. This will go in the bottom. And then I'll cut this piece of PVC pipe. I just painted it to the height to support this, whatever height. So yeah, my little 3D printer, I uh, I didn't think I would use this thing much, but man, I have printed there. This was the first thing I designed in FreeCAD and printed. And then I got hinges that I made, and I've just been making everything. So yeah, remember neat little hinges. So anyhow, that's where I'm at. I'm gonna work on that. And once I get that, I've still gotta go to the glass shop and get a piece of glass to cut, go on top of it. And I got to cut a hoe out here somewhere for my power panel. So that's where we're at, moving along. Uh, this is it for day. I've, I worked on it a couple days now in the afternoon. So I worked on a Sunday afternoon and then I have to work today. So hopefully another day or two and I'll, in the afternoons I'll be done. So moving on to the next step. Let me show you another little trick. 
a lot of you may know this, but if you got a multi uh, vibrating tool, I don't know what you call this thing, vibrating tool, put one of these kind of blades in it. This one may be getting a little dull. And what I got here is a straight edge, and we're gonna cut this piece of cardboard with it. Put this in there just so I don't crush the cardboard. Clamp it pretty tight. Same thing on this end. Make sure you don't block where you're going to be cutting. There's my guide. Smooth the cut. Sorry, the camera was in my way. But uh, yeah, it makes a very smooth square cut. I'll clean that edge up and we'll be good. All right, now I'm going to work on my uh, bed for my um, uh, LED lights. They're, they need to be about four inches below my screen, four to five inches, five to six inches, so I'll make it adjustable. It's 13 inches. I'm going to mount my, let me see if you can see over in here. So I want to mount my uh, power supply for my LED lights and stuff. I'd like to mount it just laying down right here, make it a lot easier than trying to mount it on the side. My panel will be in the front, but uh, this is 13 inches high. So these are the uh, little stands. This is just PVC pipe. I think I may have showed you this earlier. It's just PVC pipe. And I printed these out with my uh, 3D printer. Uh, so, yeah, you don't have to do all this. You could just stack four bricks in there or something. Just something to hold it up to the right height. So, I'm going to think I cut these about in half. And I think it'll give me about the measurement I need. got my four stands cut down. And I got my piece of uh, cardboard I cut out. I'm just going to slide that in there. Perfect. Perfect. And then let's measure it and see how far we are. Six inches. I'm good with that. If I need to come up some, I can. I just have to recut. I think that's going to be about right. Uh, I did put some foam around the top of this so then the glass lays on there. It's not metal against the glass. I don't know if that was really needed. But also I thought that would help it stay on there better. Uh, I'm not going to paint the inside silver. My thinking, and I may be totally wrong on this, is you don't want a lot of reflective light, especially since I'm doing such a big uh, thing here and I may go with thicker glass. To me, that may make it bounce up into the glass and reflect. You want the light coming straight up, straight through your central where you've got, you know, where you don't have any shadowing. And that may not be that big of a deal, but it's already black. I'm gonna leave it black. And so now that I got this, I'm going to uh, start mounting my electronics in here and I got a cutout my power panel so I'll be back Harbor Freight grinder there made quick work of this I'm gonna finish taking that out once it cools off I can handle it and I'll clean those sharp edges up with the grinder and then we'll inst start installing our uh, power panel alright guys got the power panel or control panel installed main power UV lights uh, your um, safety bug light don't know if that's really needed 
I was going to put one in here, but don't think I'm going to need it. it. I've got it where I can wire it if I can. And then this is my fan. That just draws air in over here and sucks it out the other side. I 3D printed that filter cover so it don't suck dust in. And then this is all sealed. And then I'm, I'm, cut, I'm printing another cover to go there. So, yeah. So there's a little timer. Once you figure out what your exposure times need to be, you just push that. Your lights come on. Boom. 30 seconds. So, just counting down. Boom. There you go. So this is where I'm at now. Uh, I've got my LED lights on here. I hot glued these on there. I was going to solder them, but that was so much solder. And I just uh, bought these little things here. Your LED lights just slide in it and you tighten it down. That allowed me too to use a bigger wire. This may be overkill, but uh, I've got one driver here for the LED lights. I may need to add another one, but I think that won't work. But I went with these heavier wires. Well, main thing, cause I had them, but, and then I split them up into sections. So that way every light's getting plenty of power. It took a little while to do that, but I think it's worth it. Uh, so there's my blower adjustment fan. I've got it wide open. I printed out another 3D cover with a filter in it there. You know, and the same thing I did over here. That's for the box below. And I ended up adding this to my cabinet because my doors wouldn't close all the way because I'm not a cabinet maker. So, uh, but anyhow, that's good to go. All right, but let me get this in there and we'll go from there. Let's just see if they work. Let's see here. Uh, we started it. There we go. That's, uh, I'm trying to think there's this. 300, 600, 1200 LED UV lights. So that should be enough. I'm, I'm going to have to work on adjusting my time to do it, so. All right, I got my glass from the glass shop. Let's hope I measured correctly. And they cut it correctly. Right. Look at that. Boom, there it is. 